Hello, everybody, and uh, at this point in this week of uploads, welcome to the final three 30-minute long videos, because with everything that's been going down between recording and setting everything up, we are going to try, we have been, uh, this has been going on longer than we had anticipated before moving on to the next game. So we're going to go ahead and uh, finish up Fatal Frame in uh, hopefully 45-ish minute chunks. And uh, hopefully uh, you will still all be uh, good to um, continue giving us your patronage, even though it's going to be a bit longer than 30 minutes, because uh, we love and appreciate the views. We appreciate it. Uh, I'll put you back in the driver's seat. Okay. Um, because we've gotten into some heavy puzzle territory, and my memory is shit enough that I do to search underneath the Hybara Infirmary. Okay. Mm-hmm. Danny. Yes. Is that a cat in your lap, or are you just happy to be here? That's a cat. That would be a cat in my lap, sir. <laughs> Yeah, so as uh, I may or may not have mentioned, uh, Danny is planning on skipping town and moving in with uh, some friends. And they've said that they will be taking uh, Mittens and Tigger in as well. So once she is moved and situated, uh, Gizmo and Turmoil will be uh, becoming the camera whores of the channel again. <laughs> So for anyone who's been following the channel since uh, before I started fostering Mittens and Tigger, yes, my personal cats are doing uh, well. They do they just do not play nice with others, which is why, why I have to keep uh, all the animals separate to avoid, uh, to avoid consistent fighting. <laughs> this is a peaceable house, and I'm a peacekeeper. And that is Phantom Photography. Mm -hmm. Boy, oh, so many chapters ago, huh? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And for those of you who keep up to date with us, um, Danny's um, shifting to uh, out of town will not affect her status as a member of the Gaming Knuckleheads channel. Now that we're doing, uh, as everyone knows, this will be gone up after our first attempt at remote streaming, uh, or remote commentary rather. So we have that. Plus, we have a small visit to sleep on my couch, eat my food. And be social. Oh, Danny, tell everyone the news, what you told me off camera a few weeks ago that you intend to buy on your Xbox. Because you've decided to be brave. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do intend to buy, uh, purchase uh, two fail frame games that were recently re uh, released on the Xbox Game Store. And I'm gonna suck it, I'm gonna suck it up, face my fears, and go and go to uh, go it alone. Let's hear it for uh, for me not uh, for Danny not being in the same room as any of us. Uh, when she plays, <laughs> about damn time we have more sacred water, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The next thing, the next thing you know, you come into our world that, that from me holding my, holding my knees. Assuming okay. that you're actually here and playing the game on your Xbox while you're visiting, I mean, if you're at Dawn's or if you've already gotten to Titusville when you do this, uh, I won't be surprised if uh, you go to bed with the lights on in here. 
I mean, bright side, we're playing this game on YouTube in the dark for the atmospheric effect. Playing it on your own outside of YouTube, you do not have that. Um, luxury. You, you, let me rephrase that. You have luxury of choosing whether you play in the dark or not. I've always said horror games are best enjoyed in the dark, and then I played the tape. And I spent about a week sleeping with the lights on and not going to bed until 5.30 in the morning. Because every time I closed my eyes, I saw those goddamn cultist masks from the first portion of the game. Seriously? Let me put it to you this way. Go into your Steam library. Look at, a, look, at a, a, look at a trailer for the tape. And you tell me if you want... I uninstalled that game. It's still in my Steam library, but never again. The entirety of our subscribers, combined with spontaneous viewers, could offer to set up a GoFundMe to pay me to play that game. Like, we'll give you this much money if you play through the tape on the channel. <laughs> Fuck no. Unless I'm in a relationship and she is here spending the night with me, ain't no way I am playing that game and then going to bed alone. <laughs> Even if I have... Well, maybe if I have a house game. You know? The point is, if I'm here alone and I have to go to bed that night alone, ain't no way anybody, there is no amount of money in the world that will get me to play the tape again. I, I played the game in my previous days. Did you hear what's Ah, yes, that's the niece. The niece. I mean, face only a mother could look she's dead, but in life, uh, I would have angered. Oh my. I mean, she may be dead, but you can't, you, 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 you can't deny that in life she obviously had a hauntingly beautiful face. Don't you mean she'd be drop dead gorgeous? Danny! <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Not that kind of blow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, our resident pervert. Here, I'll just start with you so you can look over what the floor looks like. <laughs> Okie dokie! Do you care to explain this, Doctor? Well, the simple thing is that she's still in a very deep sleep, and the best way to fix that is to grab them by the shoulders and shake them until they wake up. If their head hits the pillow, that's perfectly fine. And what if they fall off the bed? Perfectly fine too, as long as they wake up. And what if they die? Well, on to the next one. Please tell us, where did you get your diploma, Doctor? Oh, here, Doctor Class. Are you sure it was Doctor Fraud? Oh, that's a subsidiary. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hear her voice. Just in case, I get a sleep in suspicion. I figure. Figures like I hear creepy noises, I see you passing around the controller. What are you trying to do?
Pranksters, we now return you to our regularly scheduled programming. 24 straight hours of Gregorian chanting. Uh, no. Uh, if you're looking for the comedic version, think more of uh, the monsters from Monty Python and the Holy Grail that uh, whack themselves in the head. Oh, right, that one. That, that one. Yeah, the fish in the aquarium are more tribal chanting. Gregorian is more religious based. Oh, God. Father! My son. My son. Father. Have you seen that movie Catch Me If You Can? Who had Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks? Uh, yeah. Doctor! 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 Doctor. Doctor. You've, You've seen, seen that movie, right? Yeah. Long time ago. Mm. I saw it in theaters. I saw it in the living room. Okay, so... I'm gonna go to a save points, but I know exactly where we need to go after that. Mm, yes, indeed. Oh, I'll up the lowlands for me. Oh, uh... I want to see what it do. Uh, I think you gotta go to a change equipment. Right. Last. Uses all available spirit points to take an extra powerful shot. We should be iffy if we use that because it will use all our spirit points and we won't be able to trade them for healing items if we need them. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we're back into a corner and have no choice, I say go for it, but, um, well, that's viewfinder mode not in battle, but we can use that to try and catch some additional uh, spirits on camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. no. I get it, Danny. We're blowing all our Indian currency. I kind of had that thought. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you to bring it up. I just wanted to warn Brent that uh, we can technically use our spirit points if we need emergency healing, you know? Because we've only done that once in the whole playthrough so far. Probably should be smartening up and doing it a bit more at save points and whatnot, but uh, what can we say? We've been fairly decent with combat, and uh, what, we like to live on the edge? I feel like I need to sing a pub song with the way I'm hiccuping. That one matched, and that one no longer be aesthetic. Yeah, but I was hiccuping. Non stop. And in the dark, who knows what my Coke Zero can looks like a can of. I mean, you can see it, but I mean, camera feed. Oh, it looks like, it looks like a red can, playing red can of something. And when Irish eyes are smiling, all the world seems bright and gay. I cannot do fake drunk to save my life. Well, at least you can burp on the band. I haven't been able to do that since I was a kid. Tigger! Oh. Oh. Come to the party, Tigger. <laughs> oh, no. Shit. Shit. Oh. All jokes will wait until we come back.
Comment below and gets that reference, you're that fucking awesome. And to anyone who doesn't get it, we will reveal in the next one what the Dead Man's Party joke is. I mean, at this point, it's pseudo fitting considering that uh, combat popped up. Oh, yeah. Danny, you got a mittens under your feet. Other way. Mittens is a very catty cat. She is. If you leave her alone long enough and you touch her, she'll make noises. Honestly, she constantly talks to me even when I'm paying attention to her. I'd look up at you and start just meowing away. Right, Mittens? Mm -hmm. Well, since you're here, I'm apparently not in her favor right now. All right, I'll change. <laughs> I know, I know. Ugh. Coming up? Uh, not that I know of right now, no. Alright, uh, will we have time to search? Uh, and we'll clear up to the next save? I believe so. Alright, good. Just trying to figure out where I need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm starting. 53. Now I'm starting. 
from mortality from my head. God, I wish Link was here to help you like he helped Zelda with that in the Link to the Past. Shh. Although, technically, didn't Zelda just stand there while Link did all the work? Being the hero and all. Why, why should the princess do all that grunt work? Oh, read that. I want to read that. I want to read that. Okay. What the hell is wrong with you, Doctor? You know, that's a question my wife constantly asks me. <laughs> Wait a second, this diploma's written in crayon! Yes, snappy comebacks? Sorry, I'm just focusing on getting us, uh, here we go. Oh, wait, we'll, we'll save first. Sleep tight. 